and the devil. He has lost the battle. He has lost. The Lord has won it. Yes, he has. Oh, yes, Lord. Choose you this day who you're going to serve. It's a guy up here that called me lukewarm. I don't want to be lukewarm. I want to be on fire. I want to be doing it. I want to be on fire for Jesus. I love it. And I just pray that you'll take this from me. There's a way. And he's it. And I thank you, Lord. I'm in your hands now. And I tell you what, I'm alive. I'm alive. I've been dead. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. And right now, he's calling out to you, and he's saying, Lazarus, go forth! You're listening to the Omega Man Radio Network. The Omega Man Radio Show tonight is a live broadcast. It is Wednesday, August 25th. We're going to have special guest Elizabeth Nebenfuhr, General Tom Briggs, Salt Ministries. Uh, we're going to have Sister Elizabeth share her testimony. This is a testimony you do not want to miss. She died on the operating table. God took her in the gore, and she saw a glimpse of what's waiting. And, you know, folks, as we talked about in a pre-show, there's a fine line between calling yourself a Christian and being a Christian. And, you know, the lukewarm don't make it into heaven. And so this is a stern warning to make sure that you have chosen this day whom you're going to serve and you're either going to be with the Lord or you're going to be in hell awaiting final sentencing and be cast into the lake of fire in outer darkness. God forbid. But uh, if you are listening, you still have an opportunity to make a decision. But only God knows how much more time He's going to give you and I to make that decision. So uh, don't delay. Without further ado, let me go to the telephone lines. Let's get Sister Elizabeth on the line. Sister, you're on the line. How are you tonight? I blessed and highly favored the Lord. Thank you for having me on this evening. Um, it's a privilege and an honor to serve our Lord Jesus Christ and to, um, to serve our brothers and sisters out there as well. This message is not going to be, you know, some of it is good news, you know, and unfortunately some of it is not so good news for those that, uh, that don't um, teach the Word of God and the truth. So. I, I really hope that this wakes up some people. It sure woke me up. So I, I really feel that it's time, it's absolute time to share this message. So thank you so much for having us here. It's, it's sobering today. Um, I've actually entered in with fear and trembling this day. Uh, it's, been long, it's, it's been a long wait. God has told me it's time to release this message. So thank you, praise, Shannon. Well, praise God. I'm, uh, it's an honor to have you on tonight to do that. And uh, would you start out the program in prayer? Yes, absolutely. Father God, I come before you, O oh Lord, and I ask you to wash me clean and afresh, O oh God. Lord, I ask this day that, that there be ears to hear, Lord God, those things that you, you want your children to hear, Father God. Lord, draw them unto you so that they hear this message clearly, Father God. Lord, draw those unto you 